humid days of the summer, this fire sent several families into the street with no place to live. The flames woke them up this morning at the complex on Fairview Avenue in Arcadia. That's where CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live. Dave? Inside the uh, compound here, if you will, uh, right over my shoulder is the pool, and right above uh, where there used to be a roof, the fire took care of that. And as you pan down the upstairs units, you can see all those units uh, that have been completely destroyed. Uh, I am told that the work crews are going to come in here and board all that up. It was a very close call. But there was one man in this complex that smelled the, the, the smoke. He said he didn't see any flames, smelled the smoke, and he went right to work. He just started yelling and screaming, get out, get out. And the people did. No one wants to get this kind of wake-up call. Quick, get out. Your building's on fire. All of my medications and stuff are still inside. I just kind of got dressed and got out as soon as I could. Didn't grab anything. I saw white smoke. That's when I said, as my son to call 911. And soon, that white smoke turned into flames inside the attic of this Arcadia apartment complex, and people scrambled, scrambled for their lives. Chris Lee said he felt he could only do one thing, yell at the top of his lungs, yell for people to get out. When he saw all the smoke, he was in that upstairs apartment, he started yelling. Imagine, he's running up and down, yelling, pounding on the door, saying, get out, get out, there's fire, there's fire. Then he came downstairs here, right down these stairs, and did the same thing all around the complex. I asked him, you feel like a hero? No, I'm not. You would have done the same thing. Did you smoke detectors? No, it didn't. Because the smoke was actually outside. It's not inside. Investigators do confirm many of the smoke detectors in the apartments did not go off. Perhaps because the flames were inside the attic. My dad said, I can't afford that. The guy said, that's okay. You pay me $5 a week. Wow. wow. In 1958. Donna Wilson, who said the smoke detector in her apartment didn't work, choked back tears. Firefighters were able to salvage her father's tool chest. A tool chest that she said contains so many memories. I didn't think they could save it. At least six apartments are completely gutted. Fourteen in all are uninhabitable, and the roof in this section of the apartment unit, gone. What caused it all? Firefighters believe it may have been a transformer. Yesterday, that same transformer exploded and caused a small fire, but it did not get to the apartment units. Today, something caused those units to catch fire, and it's all being centered on that transformer. Again, uh, fortunate that no one was hurt on this. Uh, three firefighters uh, suffered from uh, heat exposure. They had to be hospitalized briefly, but they're okay now. You're taking a look at the other side of this apartment unit. It's all one big complex, like, like a big L shape, if you will. None of these burned, so the firefighters did an incredible job. You saw the flames. How they could keep them away is beyond me, but they did it. Uh, a lot of smoke damage. Uh, people may be able to move in there in a couple of days. As you pan around, you see where the damage is now. They're going to start boarding it up, and uh, people, again, are just saying, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lee for yelling and screaming and uh, waking us up.